Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and today we had a snow day. So I stayed home and of course I played some black ops and I also went to some uh, physiotherapy. So I went there at maybe 11 in the morning and actually I had an hour there. It felt awesome. Uh, my knee is still pretty bad but with that physiotherapy, I mean it did help. Um, I'm going there again and again and again and hopefully it'll just continue on getting better but uh, anyways uh, today I was playing some black ops 2 and I was just having some fun overall uh, rushing the enemies going in their spawn spawn trapping them and just pretty much having a good time so I wandered off and uh, I finally got a good gameplay well not finally because I got a uh, several few gameplays but anyways um, this gameplay right here is very very good um, I went 70 and 2 uh, with this class setup that I'm going to be talking to you guys about during this video, giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to uh, maintain a great kill death ratio uh, in Black Ops 2. And let's get right into it. So, first thing, you really, really want to try and play with an SMG or an assault rifle. If you're really uh, going for uh, your high kill death ratio, I would really recommend you guys going uh, with an SMG, especially um, if you're the the type of person that just likes to rush in their spawn and then just patrol around it like I'm doing uh, most of this time during this game. So I would really recommend you guys using an SMG or maybe an assault rifle if you really like those because I tend to uh, like a lot the SMGs instead of the assault rifles. So I would really recommend you guys um, choosing your best uh, weapon probably and uh, just using that for starters. Now after that, um, what you want on your weapon I'll go through my setup here and uh, I'll tell you guys what you guys should have on your setup. So first off, I'm using the MSMC. I'm just using that gun because I'm going for the gold camo on it and I almost have 100 headshots. I just need maybe like 10 more and after that I have the gold camo on it. So I'm using this gun uh, for that reason and after that uh, I'm using three attachments on this weapon. So. I have uh, the wildcard primary gunfighter which allows you to have another uh, attachment on your weapon and my three attachments on my weapon are silencer, uh, laser sight and stock. Now those t three attachments are very very good together I mean I could get rid of the uh, laser sight but then when you get up close I mean I don't I don't know if it's only me but I find that it's harder to kill someone when you're not when you're hip firing and you don't have laser sight so that's just my personal taste and that's why I have uh, those three attachments on and stock is probably one of the uh, one of the attachments that's m the most underrated in this game because especially for the MSMC it has a bit of recoil if you ask me and what stock allows you to do is actually um, reduce that recoil and keeping a better accuracy throughout you uh, when you're shooting so you'll have a better um, accuracy now I would really recommend you guys using stock on your SMGs especially if you're rushing around and uh, you're rushing around hip firing people you'll have a better accuracy if you're using stock especially if you're uh, using silencer and laser sight so I would really recommend you guys using those three attachments together and if you only want to use two then I'd probably go with stock and silencer just because uh, silencer you don't want to appear on the map and stock it'll help you from uh, for those long range combats now after that um for the perk setup I was using in this game, I was using uh, Hardline, pretty basic. I would really recommend you guys just uh, using Hardline instead of har uh, Lightweight because Lightweight, it's great and all, but then Hardline allows you to get those kill streaks or score streaks, I should say, a lot faster. And you're going to have a fun time leveling up if you're using Hardline because it's 20% less than what you normally need. So, I mean, it's a very good perk to have. Now, after that, I was using Scavenger, which I really enjoy in this game because Scavenger. Scavenger in Modern Warfare 3 only replenished you from your bullets and not for your, your stun grenades or your grenade or your uh, lethal grenades or your tactical grenades. So in this game it actually does and it's awesome. I really do like Scavenger for that purpose and every time you get a new Scavenger pack you get a new grenade and new stuns. So I would really recommend you guys um, doing that and especially if you're going for those high kill streaks, you're gonna lead you're gonna need a lot of ammo and using Scavenger is great. 
great because you're not going to need to pick up a new gun on the ground. So that's my second perk. And now my third perk is Dexterity. And that's just pretty much uh, basic. It's either that or Dead Silence that I use on all my classes. And I would really recommend you guys uh, choosing your favorite uh, third tier perk for uh, your third tier perk. Now, for the score streaks I was using in this game, I was definitely using some high score streaks, and uh, I'll tell you guys my setup and how I actually use them throughout this game, because there's a certain way and certain advice I would uh, give you guys in order to um, make the most out of your score streaks. So right here, I know uh, theater is a bit laggy and it just stays there for a sec, but uh, it's actually halftime and domination, so that's why you're just staring at a wall. But anyways, uh, now the second round starting. So. As I was saying for those kill streaks or score streaks, um, there's a very specific way I'm using them in this game and that's what I want to talk about next. So as you can see, I, I'm using the Orbital VSAT, the Escort Drone, and after that the Attack Dogs. So, or the K9 unit because they're actually called K9 unit and not Attack Dogs. But anyways, um, I want to talk to you guys about the way you should use them. Now if you're going for those high kill streaks like I am in this game, this is the following method you should use. So first thing, um, the Orbital VSAT and the Escort Drone are maybe like 75 or 100 point difference. So you're gonna get those two kill streaks or score streaks. I always say kill streaks, but I mean to say score streaks. But anyways, um, you're gonna get those two score streaks uh, in the matter of like a second apart. So once you get your Orbital VSAT and you call that in, or not even if you call it in, you're still you're gonna get your Escort Drone maybe like uh, 50 or 75 points after you get your orbital VSAT so those two score streaks are very very close together and it's very good to have those two kill streaks close together now once you get your escort drone what you want to do is you actually want to call that in first now when you call that in you're gonna get your uh, air support up and it's gonna follow you and it's gonna kill the enemies that are near you and that you can't necessarily see or it's gonna protect you either way so that kill streak is very good and that kill streak or score streak is definitely gonna help you get your way up to those dogs now it could be a swarm in any case I was using dogs in this case because uh, I was only level 53 and I wasn't actually uh, I didn't have the swarm unlock but anyways I prefer the dogs instead of the swarm it's just my personal personal pre preferences but uh, anyways if you have the swarm the escort drone is definitely gonna help you out and then again you just saw me there I got one guy and I got my orbital VSAT and my escort drone at the same time so you can see that those two kill streaks are very close together now after that um what you want to do, so you called in your escort drone, then you can call in your orbital VSAT, and then your orbital VSAT is going to spot every enemy on the map for you, and that's going to just be excellent, and you're going to have a fun time just uh, spawn killing people. And your escort drone's still up in the air, you don't forget that. And after that, you're still running around the map, getting some kills. Your escort drone is getting some kills. Your orbital VSAT is up in the air, telling you guys where the enemy is, and you're pretty much set to get, to get those dogs. Now, once you get those dogs, you don't necessarily want to call them right away. Because once you call them right away, your gameplay is going to slow down, and you won't feel the groove of it, and you'll start slowing down, not rushing as much, and uh, you're, you're just not going to have the same feel as when you were uh, trying to get those attack dogs so what I do is I actually keep those attack dogs for when I'm so close to getting my next pair of attack dogs so what I mean by that is that I keep my attack dogs and not in this case because I, the game was almost over but in other cases uh, I would still keep my attack dogs and once I get my orbital VSAT I would then call in my attack dogs because the attack dogs are most likely gonna get you 10 kills and if you multiply that by 15 points because every kill an attack dog gives you is 15 points uh, you're looking at around maybe like a 150 points and if your attack dogs go ham you're looking at probably like 200 points or even more so I would really recommend you guys following the method I suggested it's definitely gonna help you out it definitely worked for me in this gameplay I went 70 and 2 as I said and I really did uh, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay I'm Slugs v3 uh, please subscribe like the video favorite the video and I'll be sure to upload another video soon enough peace out guys